Welcome back into Talking Fitchburg. Uh, we're in the Fitchburg Digest. Joining me this morning, special guest uh, chief, police chief, Chad Brecklin. How are you doing this morning, sir? I'm well. How are you doing this morning? Hey, doing well. I appreciate you coming in. This was kind of last minute for you. Sure. Um, uh, with with everything going on uh, out of Florida, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this morning there were some some school threats in the area, and and Fitchburg Police Department also dealing with a an yeah. incident. Um, thought I'd get you on the show real quick. Mm -hmm. uh, have you kind of discuss the incident that uh, Fitchburg Police was involved, and then just ask you a couple of side questions on sure. uh, uh, with everything going on, yeah. um, how we can uh, tie all this together mm -hmm. from from your standpoint. Uh, but first, if you could just talk. Uh, released this morning of a, a school shooting threat uh, that was not credible mm -hmm. uh, coming out of Juneau County. Correct. Uh, get yeah. us updated on that. Yeah, so uh, last night, uh, Juneau County Sheriff's Office received a report from uh, the citizen of Juneau, Juneau County that they had received a call from a blocked number uh, indicating a threat to a school. Uh, the name of the school that was provided is not a school in Juneau County. Uh, they began investigating to see if they could determine where the threat was originating from. Uh, with the assistance of the Department of Criminal Investigation at the state level, they were able to determine uh, that that phone call had been placed or was likely placed from an address here in Fitchburg. So a search warrant was drafted by the Sheriff's Office in Juneau County. They contacted us early this morning in regards to the situation and we assisted them uh, at about 4.30 or so this morning in serving a search warrant at the address where um, it was believed the phone call had originated from. Uh, ultimately, through the investigation, a 14-year-old admitted to making the call, said it was a prank call, actually it had intended to dial somewhere else, um, but it misdialed um, again and reiterated it was a prank. Uh, unfortunately, in this day and age and on the heels of what just happened in Florida, Regardless of the intent behind that sort of call, it's going to be handled uh, very seriously and uh, resources are going to be put in front of that. And in this particular case, uh, the 14-year-old was booked into the Dane County Juvenile Reception Center this morning after the investigation uh, concluded. Yeah, um, you mentioned uh, the time we're in now mm -hmm. uh, with any threat. Uh, it all has to be taken seriously. Yeah. So, so, so no matter what comes through, how mm -hmm. it comes through, you guys are going to take that threat uh, credible until proven otherwise. Yeah, I mean, you look at what happened I in Florida, and I just saw on the news, too, that there's been 18 shootings at schools uh, already this year. I know all of them probably don't meet the definition of an active shooter, but still, when you start thinking about across our nation, 18 school shootings already, or at least schools in shootings at schools, I mean, that's an alarming number. Uh, it's something that our communities uh, have on their radar as far as something that heightens their awareness, heightens their anxiety. Uh, it's a matter that law enforcement and school districts uh, are taking very seriously. And whenever we get a report of this sort of nature, we're definitely going to uh, put as much resources as we can behind it to determine whether or not there's any credibility to that threat to ensure the safety of the students, to ensure the safety of the community, and so forth. How about your guys' plan? Uh, we've, we've talked about training several mm -hmm. times here on uh, on the show, uh, but uh, how do you, uh, w these incidents is certainly are uh, unfortunate, mm -hmm. but also a training opportunity for, for officers across the U.S. Uh, yeah. uh, what's the training uh, that the Fitchburg Police Department's been doing? Now? You don't have to go into description, sure, obviously. Sure, right, but right. So we have kind of a multifaceted approach, really. We've been working with all of the public safety agencies in both uh, Fitchburg and Verona for several years uh, on an ongoing basis uh, to plan for uh, significant active shooter type incidents such as what we just saw in Florida. Um, we've also partnered with the Verona School District uh, through that conversation and we've developed uh, some protocols and we've also done some training exercises over the last several years uh, both here at schools in Fitchburg and also uh, in Verona. Uh, some other things that we do, uh, we regularly train on active shooter response with our staff. Uh, we regularly have our staff uh, walk through the schools in uh, Fitchburg so that they have some familiarity with the layout of the schools and how to access the schools and so forth. And we're currently engaged in some conversation with um, the fire department and uh, the school system and, and the EMS department, again, beginning to re- um, replan and uh, some of our additional exercises 
and uh, train a lot of our newer staff on, on the tactics and techniques that we use. We also have some outreach available. We have uh, a couple of our staff members have gone through the ALICE training, uh, which does uh, afford some measure of uh, community members, businesses, schools. Uh, they can contact us and we can send one or, one or both of those members out and they can give a talk on how to kind of plan and or prepare to, to face that, that sort of situation in your uh, business, church, uh, school, whatever the case may be. Last question mm -hmm. for you. You're a parent, so yeah. a parent. What does these happen? What do you tell, how do you, if kids are nervous about going to school, yeah. um, you know, the see something, say something. Mm -hmm. How do you wrap all that up uh, from a kid's standpoint and what, what talking to your kids? Yeah, well, I'm glad you brought up the see something, say something. I mean, I know Homeland Security developed that uh, several years back and uh, really some law enforcement agencies. I just saw a news story, Janesville PD is using that same uh, moniker as well. And it's really a good moniker or motto to use. If you become aware of something that just doesn't seem right, that there's a threat or um, even more than a threat where you see somebody you know, appearing to be planning some sort of an attack at school or anywhere really, say something to a responsible adult, call your local law enforcement agency and just share that information. People can be reluctant to do that and I understand why that may be, but I would rather have people err on the side of caution, share the information, We'll do what we can in a very professional manner to investigate that call or that information and determine if there's any credibility to it. And then obviously we all, like you said, a number of us have, have kids and you know there could be anxiety both from the parental side and or from the kid's side. Uh, I can't say that I have the magic words that's gonna put every single child at ease, but I think unfortunately in this day and age, what you see is people still need to continue to go on about their business, but be aware of their surroundings have a plan in place. If they're in somewhere in a situation like an active shooter uh, occurs, know where the exits are, know where rooms where may be where you could go to, to seek shelter in, know where things are that you could use as obstacles to barricade doors or things like that, tables, chairs, sofas, whatever the case may be. Um, and if you have the ability to do a little bit of pre-planning or research, there are some resources out there um, you know, the federal government has a run, fight, hide uh, philosophy, and there's a training video that's out there on that. Um, you know, there's a variety of different resources out there, and you don't want to call it a new normal, um, but unfortunately, you know, these school shootings have been happening since the 90s with Columbine was kind of the one that really started the whole, whole uh, situation. And, y you know, unfortunately, there hasn't been anything that's been done to, to really stem these things from, from occurring on such a regular basis. Uh, Chai, I appreciate you coming mm -hmm. up here and talking with us, uh, a timely matter indeed, uh, and glad you guys were able to take care of the threat sure. uh, or something. <laughs> mm -hmm. What was, uh, you know, possible, and, right. and thank you for the information, certainly appreciate it. Yeah. And I know we'll catch up with you next Friday as well. Sounds good. Uh, appreciate it. Uh, that's uh, Police Chief Chad Brecklin, Fitzroy Police Department. Uh, We'll uh, take a quick break and uh, be back uh, right here next on Talking Pittsburgh.